Some of the best investors of all time are Warren Buffett and his right-hand man, Charlie Munger. You are watching the channel Money Base, and for today's video, we will talk about how Charlie Munger made his first million. But before we hop into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Charles Thomas Munger is an American billionaire investor, businessman, former real estate attorney, architectural designer, and philanthropist. He is vice president of Berkshire Hathaway, the multinational conglomerate holding company controlled by Warren Buffett. Munger is additionally chairman of the Daily Journal Corporation, based in LA, California, and a director of Costco Wholesale Corporation. Charlie Munger was always fascinated by money. Quote, like Warren, I had a substantial passion to get rich, he once said, not because I wanted Ferraris, I wanted the independence, I desperately wanted it. As a young adult, he worked at Buffett & Son, a grocery shop owned by Warren Buffett's grandfather. The Omaha native left the University of Michigan to become a military meteorologist during World War II. He later earned a degree from Harvard School of Law and met Buffett at a ceremonial dinner in 1959. Like Buffett, he's a practical and realistic investor and an active philanthropist who has given millions to universities. At the age of about 30, Munger lost almost everything when he and his first wife divorced. He remarried at 32 and had eight children from both marriages. He moved together with his family to California, where he joined the firm Wright and Garrett. Munger worked hard practicing law. He gradually accumulated money from his legal practice and commenced investing in securities and joining friends and clients in business endeavors. In 1962, he founded his first business endeavor and worked as a real estate attorney at Munger, Tollies & Olson LLP. He then gave up the practice of law to focus on managing investments and later partnered with Otis Booth in property development. He then partnered with Jack Wheeler inaugurate Wheeler, Munger & Company, an investment company with a seat on the Pacific Coast stock market. He wound up Wheeler, Munger & Co. in 1976 after losses of 32% in 1973 and 31% in 1974. Although Munger is best known for his association with Buffett, he ran an investment partnership of his own from 1962 to 1975. As per Buffett's essay, The Super Investors of Graham and Doddsville, published in 1984, Munger's investment partnership generated compound annual returns of 19.8% during the 1962-75 period, compared to a 5% annual appreciation rate for the Dow. Munger was previously the chairman of Wesco Financial Corporation, now an entirely owned subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway. It began as a savings and loan association, but eventually grew to regulate Precision Steel Corporation, Court Furniture Leasing, Kansas Banker Surety Company, and other ventures. Wesco Financial also held a concentrated equity portfolio of over 1.5 billion USD in companies like Coca-Cola, Wells Fargo, Procter & Gamble, Kraft Foods, U.S. Bancorp, and Goldman Sachs. Munger believes that holding a concentrated number of stocks that he knows extremely well will, within the future, produce superior returns. Munger says that the first lesson to becoming a billionaire is that you need to spend less than what you earn in order to be able to find the savings to make any successful investments. It makes sense that if you live paycheck to paycheck, but this way you will never be able to accumulate any savings to invest for your long-term future. The second lesson is that once you have savings, you need to invest them intelligently. Once you have a process in place, you stick to it and keep adding money to your portfolio. You start small, and the efforts from the first few years are not very visible. After saving and investing for 5 to 10 years, however, the power of compounding starts showing its true force. Once you accumulate a decently sized nest egg, it will grow net worth and investment income over time without needing any additional capital from you. At this point, investment income will likely exceed your investment contributions. Munger was successful in his lucrative real estate ventures as used his debit to pick the right stocks and got bargain deals on his oil partnerships. He invested in undervalued opportunities that had a strong potential to generate current and future income. By doing this, he was able to accomplish two things. He could ride out wild price fluctuations because he was generating enough private income to tolerate the storms in the stock market. 
And in addition to this, he could use the regular income to fund investment in undervalued stocks that would provide rapid capital accumulation. Most people avoid such rash speculations due to the risk of disastrous consequences if not done correctly. Munger built a regular income infrastructure that allowed him to always have money coming in to make the types of investments that would generate 15 to 20 percent annual total returns. That's the million dollar lesson from Munger's early life that made him his first million. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos.